your sink and drains, always make sure you have your mouth open. That's a pro tip. Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So right here I have your electric eel uh, drain machine that you will find at the rental location at most Home Depots. I actually own this machine. Um, this is a little bit smaller cable. The one that you'll get from that if you rent it from Home Depot is a three quarter inch cable. So right here I have a clean out. In most homes you'll have some sort of clean out somewhere. This machine is very heavy and going downstairs is more than difficult. And then by the time you are done running this, going back up the stairs is 10 times more difficult than going down. <laughs> so. This end is a uh, 9 16th uh, threaded bolt. And whatever I did with there it is. Throw this on the end there. I like to run, start with a half a blade, see how it goes, and then uh, go from there. Uh, make sure you're gonna want a pair of gloves. I find these in the Home Depot area, uh, cleaning department. I wear blue gloves, these uh, throw away disposable and then I put these on top. They work pretty good. I have another type too. I uh, purchase a lot of my equipment through Drain Cables Direct. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Next you'll wanna remove your clean out cap. This one actually just, I tested it the other day, actually just popped out. You wanna have your machine fairly close to your working area. This is a little bit unique situation where I have to have some lead out meaning I can't get the machine actually in there, you know, and run it. I do uh, turn on the water to run some water. I am gonna replace this clean out cap with this style right here. You can see that these uh, threads are gone. Get it started down in the hole. So basically you have it set up just like this. Um, I'm gonna get as close the machine as close to possible. I don't like a ton of lead. You also wanna make sure strings and things like that are um, out of the way because if it grabs a string, it's gonna it's gonna grab it. And same thing with your gloves. You wanna make sure you're using some sort of rubber gloves that are durable because you get a little piece in there and it'll it'll grab your glove. It'll grab your hand. It'll it'll grab your pants. This drain's not fully clogged. I'm just doing this for preventative maintenance because um, the tenant is actually scheduling about a week to move in this property. I just like to go ahead and snake the drain, get it over with, done, and I know that it's clear for the tenant. I just don't like problems once the tenant's moved in. See how the drum's slowly spinning backwards? That means there's tension on the cable. So whenever the, whenever you release and the drum spins backwards, that means there's tension on the cable. You can actually feel it in the cable when you're holding it right here. This thing's gonna wanna slide all over the place because it's on this tile. I'm not a super physically fit. I'm not a super physically fit person, but uh, this is def definitely taxing. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say I'm in bad shape, but I wouldn't say I'm in like superb shape.
tension on the cable. There's tension on it. So, gotta be careful. Just curious what you guys think. I could feel tension on there. I knew there was something on there. Check that bad boy out. Heck yeah. So what I'll do is I'll run it again with the four inch blade on there. I'll switch the blades out, run it with the four inch blade. I might even run this half blade again just to see if I get anything back. But look at that. Heck yeah. Right there is what I, like this whole mess right here is not what I wanna do. Is not what I want my first impressions of with my new tenant to be. I want them to move in and not have any problems for as long as possible. So right there, this is just preventing a problem right there. As soon as they start flushing some toilet paper down the drain, that thing is gonna back up and then they're gonna be complaining. It's gonna be nine o'clock at night on a Saturday. So just a heads up. That's what I like to do, get it done. So what I will do because I pulled back roots before I leave tonight, I will dump some stuff in there to, um, it's a foaming stuff that'll go in. And since I just cut these roots, it goes in and uh, latches onto those roots and actually kills the roots. So hopefully to prevent future root, root growth. When you're snaking drains, always make sure you have your mouth open. That's a pro tip right there. Breathe through your mouth. You want your mouth open at all times. Pro. Pro tip. 